creators of Ice Age bring you the world of Dr. Seuss as you've never seen it before. Hello? I don't exactly know how to tell you this, but you're, you're living right. on a speck. Seriously, who is this? Is this Bert from accounting? Jim Carrey. There are people on this spec. <laughs> Absurd. They have a mayor who has 96 daughters and one son named Jojo who all share a bathroom. <laughs> Whatever that is. Steve Carell. Dr. LaRue, if uh, our world were, say, a tiny speck, <gasps> how would we know? Well, we'd have unexplicable <laughs> tremors, <laughs> oh. dramatic changes in the weather, <laughs> and if we didn't achieve stability, <laughs> Our world is headed for disaster. Oh, we're doomed. On March 14th. I want that clover destroyed. I will devour clover. <laughs> <laughs> then I regurgitate it. Then I'm mm. gonna devour it second time. So two times devoured. <laughs> All right, fat boy, you want some of that? Mm. Why? Keep uh. watching the sky. I just know he's gonna jump out somewhere. Hello. <laughs> Yes, mate. This is where we get off. Oh! Cool line. Usually I can't think of those things till later. So, Jojo, what's the word? Sweetheart, you need to go to bed. Daddy's having a breakdown. Oh. Ah! 20th Century Fox presents... Even though you can't hear or see them at all... A person's a person, no matter how small. That's my code, my motto. Ah! Ooh. It's just a straight plummet to certain death. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Don't worry, citizens of Whoville. I'm light as a feather. Theaters, March 14th.